Welcome. back to vlog 5 on my transition from weeds to full no dig I'm having a lot of bind weed problems at the moment um, as I just indicated there the bind weed was in fact growing from behind where I was stood on the right hand side of this shot and it's really quite a powerhouse of weed uh, the carpet I'm taking up now, the, the, the biomid isn't so bad, so what I am going to do is get rid of it from that bed, to stop it getting in amongst that fruit cage, because it isn't quite there yet. So hopefully by digging that, no, I'm not just digging up, I'm spot that's digging still, but uh, hopefully by treating that area, I'll stop it going further. So this bed originally had the bind reed going this way rather than what I thought because behind me the guy that had it before me has always used this to dump and not sort out the weeds because the bind reed is living very happily in there and on the next bed you can see the same thing happening again but not quite so bad at the top so plan C <laughs> dig this out it's no th it's n you can't leave this in it's just causing problems and I think I'm going to have to dig this out as well along the, the back edge because otherwise that binary is just going to travel forward again and make a mess for this year. Well, that's today's little job done. I went right up through here as well because the border of these two beds weren't dealing with the binary door. Spot dug a couple of little places where the binary poked his head up. And I got all that lot out. But I haven't tackled that lot yet. That's another day's job. Right, it's time to look at the beds that I've already semi-prepared by composting in bed on it. Uh, I'm using a slightly different method. I'm using the compost directly on top of the actual bed itself. Because this compost didn't heat up properly I want to I, I do fear it's full of weeds so I'm applying the cardboard on top of that uh, which is different to normal so as I've just explained this clip will hopefully show you the process that I'm doing with this particular bed which is compost down first on, directly on top of the soil then two layers of card because we've got quite a weed problem underneath cooch grass is pretty tough on its own normally I would only put down one slice of cardboard but let's do a bit of overkill on the top there we're going to be putting down our good quality compost to start the growing life into I'm a little bit short on it so it's not quite as thick as I would like but there we go it is good quality compost we we'll have to see if we can scrounge some more later on but let's see now then we did have a few problems <laughs> I had a few problems this area here had this lot growing in it now this is a mixture of bindweed and cooch grass the bindweed in particular isn't going to be defeated by the cardboard you, you've seen how it travelled across underneath carpet it's going to do the same here under this bed unless work is carried out to do it um, so I've had to dig this bottom two feet to remove the bulk of the of the of the bindweed it's not ideal it's not really what you want to do digging isn't you're trying to get away from digging by doing no dig <laughs> but there are times 
and weeds that just won't be beaten by card and compost alone. Um, people will tell you otherwise. In my experience, you've got to get a little bit more robust with certain weeds. There we are, just about finished. Not really deep enough, but almost the last of the co my compost for this year. And I ain't gonna buy any. <laughs> so it's gotta be enough. Great. I've only got this compost, which isn't quite ready yet, so this is going to have to go underneath the cardboard, but I haven't got any finishing compost left. So, plan B involves, this is going to have squashes on, so in the station, plant this stuff around, cover with cardboard, and then maybe mulch on top of it later, but not use compost in the traditional sense to cover the cardboard. Let's see what I mean. So I've zoomed in to a sequence where I'm actually removing the bindweed. Just to acknowledge I will be seeing this again from the, from the surrounding paths because without being able to remove the wood and the path areas I'm stuck with removing it from the beds only so it, it will regrow from the edges but here we are this is the best I can do at the moment um, so when you're trying to get rid of it if you snap it off in the soil it will regrow from that point so try and redig any bits that you find and then once you get out a piece try and without snapping it fall it to the edge so at least you're clearing it from the main bed and if you get a bit out to the border it will regrow from that point we know that I know that but it's not my plot I can't go that little bit further that you need to really try and get any little scraps of root out you can and when you get a piece follow it down put your fork underneath it loosen it and get rid of a nice long length so I'm, I'm clearing it away from the bed itself if I'm not clearing it away from the path Squash we planted into each one of these mounts through a, a cutout in the cardboard. There's bindweed in here. I think we're going to be saying hello to the bindweed again this year. Let's get a crop in. That feels much better. This bed makes a lot more sense now. This one over here. I'll burn holes in the six places uh, for the squash. That will stand up better to the bindweed. This will be able to cope with the lesser weeds much better and stand a chance of actually succeeding. So I've started placing the tubs onto the cardboard, directly onto them. And now what I'm applying is 
wood chips, or at least it's the it's the remains of a hundred year old tree where this it was sawn down, and this is all the small bits directly from the saw. So it is wood chips, but it's very fine, interspaced with large pieces of bark. Perfect as a mulch because when the potatoes uh, grow, potato roots grow out out of the holes that are drilled in the bottom, they'll be able to burrow into this wood chip and provide a good level of moisture to access. That's the end of a busy day. Good day, good productive day. I think this plot is just about set up out here. Yeah, just going to plant some more potatoes. Plant some crops in here, and the new bed down here. And away we go, the fun begins.